is up YouTube how's it going good morning Alex here from Hoppos with another video for you guys so I want to give you guys a quick update on uh, the skyline build for SEMA and well I don't got nothing for you <laughs> I wish I did unfortunately we're on a standstill right now um, we did have a meeting with the owner of the vehicle Neil um, but right now we are waiting on airlift to supply the the product for us um, normally we would just go and start building it so uh, right now being that we're teamed up with airlift we got to kind of just wait because they're going to be actually building all the product uh, they're going to be building the struts itself we already did the measurements we got on the length we got on the coil width we did all that good stuff so now it's just a waiting game and uh like i said you know you guys the guys that followed us you guys know that we are so busy that it's hard to just pause on a project so what we're doing is we are pausing on the project but we're moving on to the next thing as well so we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, as you can see, kind of here in the background, we got Vic doing up a whole bunch of Y-bones because we are beyond backed up on that kind of stuff and fab. Uh, so we're working on that right now. Hey, baby, que paso? Come on, sing the rest. I don't know, I don't know what you're trying to say. I thought you were my only vato. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So Vic's over here working on the Y bones, getting them all jigged up and uh, getting them all cut up, getting them prepped uh, for the jig, then heading over to my section to get them all tigged up. Looks like he's got three so far. Good job. Only needs 77 more to go. Oh, he's digging in his crate over there. So we're gonna get to work. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff to tig up here. Um, again, we're on standstill right now on the skyline. We can't do much until we're waiting on color code for uh, the paint. We're waiting on the struts. And, uh, well, we're just going to continue on to the next project. We're working on a whole bunch of cups right now. So we got the cups in the works. Uh, we got a Z-Rack in the works, which is right about here. And uh, if all goes well today, hopefully we should be buttoning this guy up. Um, it just depends on how shipping goes. Um, but yeah, we'll be jumping on this guy right now. I did a nice, cool time lapse in the last video. I believe it was the last video. Hopefully I entered it in there. We'll see what happens. If not, it's gonna be in this video. But um, yeah, we're gonna get that all buttoned up here. We also just got a rear end back uh, from Sandblast. So we'll be jumping on that as well. And to top it all off, we got about four frame kits we gotta cut today. So we're gonna be all over the place. Now we're gonna go check on Natalie real quick, make sure she has enough material over here. Um, she's still gonna be running blocks and backing plates because, uh, well, we can almost barely keep up. Whole bunch of backing plates, whole bunch of blocks here. We got some more. This should hold us over for the next few days. We got backing plates on that sucker. We got blocks on that sucker. We got more blocks here. This is all stuff being waiting to cut up. Um, and get shipped out to you guys. So we got a huge shipment of uh, our two ton white coils that just came in. So we got a few containers here worth. Four and a half ton blacks. One ton pre-cut. Two ton pre-cut. Got some three and a halfs down on the bottom side. Yep, we got tons of coils. You guys need to jump on the website, www.hopplesonline.com. You guys can pick them all up there I do not have good news man I do not um, it seems like for some reason I mean, a lot of you guys know I moved uh, when we were moving the shops we also moved our house um, purchased a new house in a different area different city and if you guys kind of follow back on some of our old videos um, you guys would see when uh, when I was up in the Ukaipa I had the fires literally right in our backyards um, it was a hectic week that we couldn't be home. I um, mean, yeah, everything was just up for up, up to burn, pretty much. It was like, we got lucky. The firefighters did their job, and they did exactly what they had to. But now, at the new location, I'm actually leaving work early right now because I'm having to head home because there's a fire right down the street from the house. Um, yeah. Yeah. And what's happening now is we have no power. I got a notification from uh, the power company. It is out. Um, everything is down at the house and well we got a lot of stuff in our deep freezers and our freezers that I need to go save and rescue I know I got a few hours on it but um, 
yeah, I just don't want to take any chances here. So I'm heading home right now. Gotta go uh, inspect to see how close everything is. And the bad part is I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic along with everyone else that's probably rushing home right now. And um, yeah, I can't check any cameras because uh, all the power has been shut off, all the Wi Fi has been shut off, uh, there's no backup. Um, yeah, I think I need to invest in a backup generator. I feel like I'm just like plagued with these fires. It's like literally went from one place, there's fires all in the backyard, now another place, another fire, literally right here. It's like geez last year at one point it felt like half of california was on fire i went to the one part that wasn't on fire last year and guess what it's on fire this year all right guys so we are almost there um good news is i haven't seen any huge billows of smoke or big old smoke clouds or anything like that so i do see a little bit of gray smoke in the in the sky um, right now you guys ain't gonna see much you got the sun right in you but we're going up to the canyon right now and we're gonna see uh we're gonna be at the peak right now uh let's see you know what it looks good guys i see you know like some haze out on the side so it looks like they might have got everything under control which is a great sign for us the only bad part is the whole refrigerator the ac it is officially uh 81 degrees today and well the good thing that works out in our favor today or over here is uh unlike the other location the other house uh, we actually had our other house was the uh, backed up to pretty much the mountains so at the end of our fence line was a whole bunch of just pine trees uh you know a whole bunch of brush and it went all the way up to the very very top um and it was just all mountainside over here we have some mountains and hills but it doesn't have as much um bush or you know it's mostly just small and as you guys can kind of see everything's kind of dead over here but it is uh, pretty much just all small uh like just you know knee high brush you don't got big old trees over here so and uh, the winds weren't too crazy today so i think a lot of that you know took factor um again i don't know how close it was i believe we're about a mile from the fire so i think we're lucky on this one um and over here isn't really a huge fire area there like i said there's mountains and hills over here but nothing crazy it's more ranch style on this area well guys we are back with another day here luckily Yesterday everything went smooth and uh, there was no issues with the fire by the house uh, The power did shut off a few times here and there, but all that was situated taken care of Everything's been rebooted and everything's been it's good now So uh didn't have to worry about all the food and the meat and stuff in the freezers and stuff like that Luckily it all worked out Now being that we're here It's time to get to work guys. I got a lot of stuff to do today uh, Today's main goal is get all the shipping out which there's a ton of um, the guys are working on that right now up front in the warehouse um, and then all we got or all I got back here um, today's main goal is to pretty much get uh, the Z rack final finalized um, I got a whole bunch of them on order and uh, they are you know kind of a lead time on them because of so much welding and fabrication involved into it but we are in the home stretch of one right now uh, I gotta get it all tacked together weld it up and then um, get some good pictures of it. So here we go, time to get welding. guys this is what i'm talking about different right here we need to get us one of these right here do one of these right hand drive flaked out patterned out that's what i'm talking about
Dude, that van was pretty sick, guys. It might not be all your guys' style, but it was definitely different. Right hand drive, Odyssey. Um, dude, that thing was pretty cool. I like different, you guys know me, I always say I like different. I don't like the cookie cutter stuff. So to me, that was different. Uh, I digged it. But uh, now we are on our way uh, home. Uh, ending the day here at Hoppo's and we are actually uh, headed to pick up some lumber right now uh, for one of my other side businesses and uh, while well, you guys all know lumber ain't cheap so I gotta go sell my kidney real quick in my left leg in order to go get some lumber so I could do this next job I got a few pre-orders on a few items um, so yeah so ending the day here we gotta continue on to the next thing um, Gotta keep pushing, guys. Gotta keep hustling. Gotta keep doing what we do. So, uh, thank you guys for always liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, we're on to the next video. We'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. You guys have a good one.